11, a Boeing 747-100, was en route from Honolulu, Hawaii to Auckland, New Zealand. About 20 minutes into the flight and near 23,000 feet, the aircraft experienced an explosive decompression. The forward right cargo door had opened suddenly, causing extensive damage to the fuselage and the cabin structure adjacent to the door. Nine of the 337 passengers were ejected from the airplane and lost at sea. Initially, there, were, there was myself and two other flight attendants. We were setting up the beverage cart. And um, we suddenly heard a hiss. It sounded like a large pressure leak. And that was our first indication that something was wrong. Before we could even get the words out of our mouth, what was that? There was a tremendous explosion. Um, I don't know how else to describe it except that way. Uh, if you're watching television or the movies and you see an explosion uh, being reenacted on television, uh, bodies are being uh, thrown in the air or thrown down, and that's exactly what happened to us. Um, just a violent explosion, and all of a sudden my body was being forced on, onto the floor of the aircraft. Um, fortunately for me, when I was thrown down on the floor, I landed at the foot of the circular stair wells on, this, on the 747. And um, there are rungs on the stairwell. And I had grabbed the rungs and was holding on. The force, the suction of things being blown out of the aircraft was so tremendous um, that I, I call it doing flag time. In other words, I was holding on to the circular stairwells, stairwell with my hands. And my feet were literally off the ground. I was being pulled towards the hole or the, yeah, towards the hole is the best way I could describe it, like a flag on a pole. While I was holding on, uh, of course, debris, everything is flying out of the cabin. I vividly remember a bin of soft drinks. If I'm sure flight attendants work with these all the time in their carts. The, a bin of soft drinks floated past me like a feather in the air. Uh, racks of glasses were flying by, of course, pillows, blankets, newspapers. So the force was absolutely incredible. In fact, the next day, uh, when I looked at the palms of my hands, my palms had two huge bruises on them. I was holding on so tight that I had sustained bruises on my palm, which I'd never seen before. Um, so after the explosive decompression, uh, of course, um, the, the flying debris, mist in the cabin, cold temperature, and an immediate rapid descent. Um, had I not known better from my training, it would have really horrified me. But in the back of my mind, when it was happening, I said to myself, this is supposed to happen. We're supposed to make a rapid descent. It's OK. So even though I was terribly frightened, I kind of knew in the back of my mind that that was good that we were supposed to be making a rapid descent. I started hyperventilating because of lack of oxygen. And I kept thinking to myself, I had to stay conscious, because if I when unconscious, I would lose my grip and I would, I would be gone. So I had to consciously um, think on my breathing, slow my breathing down, and I just kept hoping we'd get it at an altitude where I could breathe normally, which eventually we did.